at the track today. I uh, just finished my Couch to 5K workout today. And so I'm trying to cool down and just relax a little bit before I get in the car. Maybe stop sweating some um, before I get in the car and go home. But I decided um, the shoes I brought out today, I thought I was going to run in them, but then I decided to run in a different shoe. But I wanted to give you my review because I have run a few times in this particular shoe. Now this shoe was, um, for me, highly anticipated when I first saw that they dropped this particular colorway. So I'm so excited to talk to you guys about this piece. This is... Uh, a new shoe by a new shoe company out of Austin, Texas um, called Atreyu. Um, the founder, his name is Michael, and basically he's um, a runner and decided that, you know, when looking for running shoes, he was finding a lot out there, but not specifically what he needs. They have all of these new technologies and just all of this, what some people would consider fluff and gimmicks and all of that. He just wanted a decent running shoe, a good running shoe that just served his purpose, long runs. So he decided to develop his own. Now these um, shoes are very lightweight. I think these are probably five, maybe five and a half ounces. Um, I wear a women's seven and a half or eight. I got these in an eight. Super light. They don't even feel like you have anything on your feet. So that is the one, the first thing I like about them because some of the shoes that I get because I need a lot of cushion are very, um, can be kind of very heavy and after a few laps or a few miles, um, a little time on your feet, they start feeling heavy. These are super light. Nothing fancy about them. One slab of foam, it's an EVA foam and um, the upper is very thin. You can um, even see through it. If, we, if I had a flash light, we were in some light. Um, they do have this sort of, it's almost like a felt on the inside here, on the inside of the tongue. And I think um, it offers a lot of comfort, but it also helps keep your foot in. It creates a little bit, I don't want to call it friction because your feet don't slip, but it kind of holds you in nice and tight. Um, you can see how the shoe is shaped. It has a pretty wide platform. Um, there's no rubber on the sole. That's probably also why it's super light. It does provide cushion. I ran on the concrete after a light rain. Uh, I had no slippage, but I hadn't tried it in anything other than the track, concrete, asphalt, and a couple times I had to run in grass just to jump in and out the street, you know, when I jog around in the neighborhood. So, um, so far so good. The other thing, now they're not promoting changing um, your running style or your gait, but if you can see how it says strike here. These shoes um, are meant for a midfoot to forefoot strike. But if you're a heel striker, there's enough cushion as long as you're not over striding, I think. Um, the shoe has a six millimeter offset. It's a neutral shoe for distance and road. And you know that because they put it right on the shoe. Now, the reason why these were so um, anticipated for me is because the saying that they have, the battle lies within. And of course, I love pink. So, um, I'm a cancer survivor, and I'm always looking for a shoe to do a cancer walk in. Um, and now that I'm becoming a runner, I'm gonna be doing cancer runs, hopefully when the world opens back up. And this shoe definitely spoke to me because um, when you're going through cancer, that's really what it is. It's a mind game. Yes, your body is going through something physical, but it's a mind thing. So the battle does lie within. And so I just had to have these. The other interesting thing about Atreyu is that they um, released the shoes, limited release, um, that you could purchase like one shoe at a time. But their business model is set up in a way that it's a subscription shoe. So for $55, you can get a shoe ship, a new shoe shipped to you every one, two, or three months. Because I don't run a lot of long distance, I'm just starting out and I really wanted the shoe. I did get a subscription for three months. Now, I also have lots of running shoes that I rotate. So I'm probably 
it's gonna take me a while to probably run these down but got them anyway the other wonderful thing about a tray you and their business model is they send you the shoes in a bag with the return label when you've worn your shoe and you've run it out and you've maybe gotten your new shoe you can send the shoe back in a prepaid package the same package the original came in they will receive that shoe clean it um, disinfect it, sanitize it, and give these shoes out to people in need in the community of Austin, Texas, whether that be for running or maybe the homeless. So it gets basically recycled. And if they aren't able to utilize any part of the shoe, you know, maybe the top is good and they have to resole it. Um, they're figuring out a way to recycle um, and to cut down on the carbon footprint in the world and so I think that's also really awesome about the shoe now as far as running in the shoe like I said it is very lightweight it is smooth um, not much effort I think you could run your long distances in it um, and you can do some speed work in it now I am a heavier runner I usually go with a little more cushion but what I really like is that this is a firm, a firmer cushion, which I do like. Um, I don't need stability, but super cushy shoes tend to make my shins hurt. And so this is the complete opposite of that. And um, so if you are looking for just like a no frills, good fitting shoe, an easy shoe, or I mean, like I said, you can do your speed, you can do your mid-range runs. I don't run very far yet, so this is like a perfect fit. Um, I especially like it on the track because the track has a little more cushion than the concrete, but I have run it on concrete and haven't had any issues thus far. So again, this is a Treyu. It's a treyurunning.com if you want to take a look as of right now they are sold out um, they did I think four drops of the shoe and the subscriptions were bought up so they're working toward um, the end of the fall season end of the year to kind of reevaluate I think the need and the want for the shoe the demand for it was a probably greater than what they originally anticipated and so eventually they will be um, releasing some more of us. So, but as of right now, they are definitely sold out. So anyway, that's the Atreyu. I'll insert some pictures a little bit later at the end of the video. Y'all have a great day.